Yeah, with this, I'm happy with this. As long as it tells me the depth, the temperature, right. that, that's pretty much it. That's all I really need. You ever go bass fishing? Oh, uh, not as much as I used to. Uh-huh. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of California Fishing Adventures. Today, um, same thing like last time. We're out here in the ocean. I'm actually out here with my buddy Kyle. He's behind me. Hopefully, you guys can see him. We'll see him a little bit later on today. And this is actually his first time in the ocean. He has almost the exact same pack as me. Um, the only difference is that his is a 12 foot and mine's a 13. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna try to get him on some rockfish today. We're heading back over to that spot I marked on the map. Just to see, just to, you know, get something in the bag. And I think the plan for today is just to catch a couple of them. And then we're gonna switch over to um, see if we can catch some halibut. Because apparently they haven't catch some out here. That's it. Uh, he said so yeah um i am also going to be trying a, a different kind of bait today i'm going to be trying this thing out i don't know if you guys have ever seen this before but it is a 12 inch power eel for salt water two ounces not that heavy but the area that we're going to be fishing in anyway isn't going to be uh, too bad so anyways like i said welcome back and we'll catch you guys once we're at the spot. So just around this area, bro. Let's try it. Spot. Yep. Where I was getting all them bites last time. There you go, there's one. There's one, baby. Yep, there's one, baby. There's one. Damn, that's a nice cup green leaf. That's a nice one, dude, look at this. That's number one, guys, boom. One I'm stuck. A fish. Boom, baby. Another rockfish. Boom, baby. Another one. I like it. Look at that. Pretty good size black. Let's do it. Hey, Kyle, let's go this way. This is where that spot that I marked was at. Maybe like 500 feet or like 100 yards this way. Damn, that is hella eerie. Damn, this fog is not good. <laughs> How you feeling, bro? Good. Better? Yeah. Nice. Did it help? Down. Did it help? Yeah, it did. Dude, that thing came, came, comes from Australia, bro. Yeah. You cannot get it here in the U.S. It's crazy. It's good stuff. Seriously, I need to buy more. Dude, this fog rolled in out of nowhere. Are you kidding? You in that mark? Um, let me check. Dude, this fog, what the hell? Yeah. Are you serious? Seriously. Dude, this thing is scary. I'm not trying to get hit by a freaking boat. 
Um, yeah, we just keep drifting kind of towards shore. It's still back this way. Yeah. Here, let's just let's just pedal all the way there and then start fishing. Yeah. Because we just keep getting stuck and then it just keeps pushing us back. Please be wary of your fellow kayakers. Stuck? That last fish I caught, I was stuck, so I just kept like jigging it and then it was just on. Yeah. Yeah, that sound is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little scary, not gonna lie. I mean, at least they could see enough to stop. Yeah. Take off my glasses. Oh, no. I'm Taking off my glasses does not help. It's like 26 feet. Not too bad. Here we go, here we go. You got one? Yep. I got one too, bro. We're doubled up. And mine feels pretty big. Mine's pretty hefty. Unless we caught each other. Yeah, right. Oh, dude. Oh, my. Bro, are you kidding me? I'm going to need my gaff. Dude, are you serious? That's crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we finally do it, bro? Did we finally catch a link cod? Oh, I got a link, bro. You got a link? Yeah, yeah. Does it look keeper? No, I don't think so. I caught a cabbie. I do not know if that's a keeper, though. I'm going to net it. Woo, there you go, baby. There you go. Woo. Woo. Nice. First thing, bro, and it's a blue. It's a blue one? Sick, yeah. dude. Yeah. Woo. Cabby. Just doubled up. Yeah. Doubled up, man. Chill, 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 chill. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. Boom. Cabby. Cabby, let's see. Oh yeah. That's keeper, baby. That's keeper. That's keeper. That's keeper. That's keeper, baby. Keeper, baby. Let's do it. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Let's do it. There you go. Yeah, I got another one. This feels like a link hot though, like a baby link. What's up? Yeah, I do. Just gonna show you sort of this. Hey bud, we're in front of you. Boat. Slow down. Hey! Hey! Hey, come on! A little bit too close for comfort on that one. I copy. Go ahead. I was about to take out my whistle. <laughs> John Livestage, you got a copy? Nice little grass. I don't even know what the heck this is. It looks like a grassy or something. Copy, go ahead. Pretty sure. Ray, I heard you. I heard you. I'm going to take my flare out and just keep it in my pocket. Number two. So currently, we are still fishing, not in the best conditions though. Uh, we'll probably stay out here for another 30 minutes or so, depending on if we keep catching fish. Um, so far I have six, and I'm just I'm just bouncing along the bottom right now. There's a couple other people around us, because since it's so foggy, not a lot of boats are trying to be trolling around for uh, salmon. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're probably going to head out in a little bit, hopefully. Um, we just got something because it's uh, the light has for sure slowed down. I'll catch you guys in a bit.
Come here. Yeah. Not. Oh, that's a pretty looking black and yellow or china. <laughs> that's a huge one. Are you kidding? Dude, look at that. <laughs> this, that one's nice. I thought that thing was like a link hot or something. Whew. Look at that, guys. Yes, sir. Pretty. <laughs> yeah, right here, between 30, 25 to 30. I'm just bouncing it too. Just don't, don't, don't. There you, there you go. You got a black and yellow, bro. Nice. Good job, dude. There you go, baby. Ah, uh, oh, he's ah, uh, he's <laughs> none. There you go, guys. It's always good to get a little bit of blood on the kayak. Yeah, right. Here we go. We'll toss him in there. Yeah, Whoa! You. Give you two of them. Yeah. Oh, I did have one on. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't know if it's just my drag is loose, but it took some drag, for sure. Oh, it's fine, pretty good. What is that? It's a Ling! Ling and a look, ah, that's close. Look, that's, that looks close. Come on, bud. Oh, he came off. Not off, but out. Come on. Get in the net. Let's go. Let's go. Got him. Oh, dude. This might be it. Might be that keeper I was looking for for so long. I'm going to need my other fish grips for this one. I'm not playing around with this, dude. That's for sure. Look at that, boys. Lingers, lingers, yes sir. Now, the real question is, is it gonna be a keeper? That is the real question. And it looks like a keeper, but is it gonna be? 22 inches, right? That's the magic number? 22 is the magic number? Let's go, baby. That's a keeper right there. Let's go! Yup! Let's go, baby! Let's go, keepers! Keepers all day! Keepers all day! 
I did not expect that to happen, baby. Yes, sir. Lingers. Lingers for days. Lingers for days. Hey, bro, you down to head back? Yeah. Yeah, it's already two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lines up. Yeah, it's been a good day, though. A lot of stories. That's for sure. Oh, set a course. All righty, boys and girls. Hello. All righty, guys. So I'm just going to do this quick outro because probably once I get to land, I'll probably just take a couple pictures. But anyways, today was a very, very successful day. I caught a lingcod, cabbie, a couple of rockfish. You know, I went out with my, my buddy Kyle. He got on some fish too. We saw this huge lingcod, like I'm talking about at least 30, 35 inches following after his black and yellow rockfish. That thing was, I thought it was kelp, but that thing was a dragon. It was crazy, but anyways, just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos because finally I'm able to come out and not have to worry about getting seasick, which was the thing that kept happening to me. But I think, I think it's time before the season ends. I think it's time that we go for salmon. It's probably gonna take a couple times until I actually catch one, but I think that's gonna be the game plan for next time. And also, I'm gonna start practicing how to beach launch so I don't have to go to a launch ramp every time. I could just launch from shore. But anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the foghorn. It was a really beautiful day. I know it's super foggy, you can't see anything, so Good thing we have the flare, the whistle, the radio, and all that stuff. But we're about to make it. I already see the foghorn from here. But anyways, I'll catch you guys once we're back on shore. Finally made it. Finally made it back. That was a very long, kind of stressful pedal back because of the fog and boats, but we made it. That's all that matters. Anyways, let's get back to the launch ramp.